we are doing well. We are in a bit of debt because I took on some debt to build some buildings, but this is fine. It's fine. Uh, I think the major thing we need to be considering is where are we expanding to next? Look at this Prussia. This is a vassal Pru or a AI Prussia. I, I'm very happy. Second time it formed too, which is the craziest part. So we can now raid all of this. Um, we have our ships here, so we should raid all of this. I think we can actually... One, two, three. Yeah, we can get all the way up to here. One, two, three. Yep. So we can get all the way up to Yemen. What about this one? One, two, three. So just over to there. So I'm not going to worry about that one quite yet. So let's speed five rate a bit. Speed five rating is underrated. Check this out. We rated a bit of this already, right? 88. Not bad. Oh, missed it. Missed the unpause. Anyways, we're up here. 37. 19. So Yemen is looking beefy as well. Alright, 17. And then Kilwa down here is another 48. Cool. So this is going to be our main fleet. These guys... The Manlius army is getting transplanted down to uh, South Africa. I'm not sure... I suppose we just leave them there for now. It's, it's really not a big deal. I'm going to have these guys dock up for a month just to prevent any uh, unnecessary attrition. Uh, sure, I'll take army professionalism. We're uh, we're definitely lacking. Look at this. Our army tradition is 23, chat. That's pretty pathetic, but we now have money. We got the money from raiding. Look at poor Castile, man. Have you ever seen a more sad Castile in your life? Just for the allies. Sounds good. Let's do it. Do I have any other allies that I should be picking up here? Sweden. Hmm. Couple of African nations and Sweden. Hmm. Not so sure. I think I'd like to get. I'd like to start making my way over here. Sadly, these guys, Pasai, is going to have a beefy navy. This is more Mamlux, I assume. So let's take a look at what's in our uh, colonial range, since now we have all this stuff over here. Oh, seems like we need to wait until we core all this before we can send out our next um, colonist here. So, this guy is old, last I remember. So, we will switch over to a well-connected smuggler who is much younger. Very good. We may end up keeping this guy, which would be nice. Uh, make sure the buccaneers are staying in power. They are. Very good. That's the perk of raiding. Uh, he's got national tax modifier. Not helpful, but um, the Pirates of Liberatia. Really? Liberatia. Are you kidding me? I have never heard of this before. No way. They're a March of Saklava. Yeah. I would really love to get over onto Madagascar, but boys, 37,000. Even if we do have a Miltech advantage, which we do, uh, we have a significant Miltech advantage on them. That's still a lot of men. Um, what I would have to do is probably raise up some mercs down here and then transport them over. It's something I'll consider in the future. Bohemia. Feels bad, man. Luckily, we haven't lost any stab in a while, which is really good. I'm a big fan of that. Lincolnshire. Sure. So let us get our army grouped up down here, and then let's get a couple more. So is these literally just infantry? So something like this. I have these guys suppress rebels because they're going to fire. And if we can prevent them, we want to. Cool. Get him there. And then once we finish up these cores, we will be able... Ooh. I'm not losing the Republican tradition. We want to re... Um, we want to... We want this guy around here because this, uh, this captain is going to get us lots of mana in the long term. So... Next island. Oh, I haven't... Ah! I still haven't... I can't see it, sadly. Well, that's okay. I think we can reach over here. I suspect it's very close. Nope, not actually that close. So apparently, according to this, we can't reach any of this. So is this owned? Oh, the Mamluks are really taking a bunch of this land. That's Portugal. Hmm, okay. What about over here? Is this one? No, that's all one one island. Hmm. 
Looks like we definitely need to get to war with uh, with Spain again in the near future. I don't think there's any islands that we can colonize except for right here. We'll colonize these ones. The Cor Comoros. And uh, we're already down here in South Georgia. So that is... Oh, wait. I'm a dum-dum. I didn't even see that we hadn't... Uh... Well, I can't click these islands anyway, so... This is fine. We want this. This is actually a trade center, isn't it not? Oh, it's not. I was thinking it was, but it isn't. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, take the prestige. I don't care about the prestige. Doesn't bother me any. Um, I would like... Probably get to war with Aragon soon. I know that uh, being allied to Brandenburg is going to be problematic, but we can get Austria and the Pope Man in on this, actually. Hmm. I think I actually will do this. Um... Hmm. What's Brandenburg looking like? 33,000 just from Brandenburg. Okay. Well, I suppose we got to take our chances and just go for it. Um, we have our navy. Um, they have no navy up here, so it seems like we're good. The issue is, is am I going to have particularists up here? Because it looks like we might. Let me see here. Where are we having these particularists? Mostly down... Oh man, they're in our random island provinces as well. It's very frustrating. I'm just going to pay for that because I uh, I really, really don't want to deal with any any of these guys. This... Oh, more rebels over there in that one province, particularists. Doesn't bother me. Uh, it looks like I need to actually keep these guys over here. Let's... Not these. Have these guys come up here and suppress and I think that will handle them up here so if they pop they'll be in that island and so I suppose hmm so Pope Man will siege this stuff down for me which is great the issue is, is that he might take it for himself matter of fact ooh, he definitely will um I want all of this Pope Man yeah okay this is fine just give me what you're willing to give me man does he want any of this? He doesn't. Very good. So I want all of these islands now. This, and that's my intention, is to take all of those islands. We're going to end up needing to beat up on Morocco, and so we will do that soon. Sadly, he's allied to the one of the most beefy Ottomans I have ever seen in my life. An enforced peace from France. Yeah, that sounds good. That's a that's a fun mechanic. You guys having fun now? Do you feel, do you feel engaged here, chat? Because we literally just had to arbitrarily stop fighting a war. Ugh. I know it's realistic. It doesn't mean it's fun, though. This would be our way to get back to war with Castile. I'm just kidding. We would choose them anyways. Hmm. Let's boost up our trust with these boys. Make sure that they're staying friendly. So I don't have coring distance. Oh, I do. Nice. Well, we definitely want to get colonizing over here ASAP. Um, I think Diplo, yeah, Diplo. Let's see here. I uh, I reckon doubling up on this and taking two techs, catching up is going to be good, and then we can finish out the rest of this. Though this extra privateer efficiency is going to be really nice. And what is the policies we get for it? It's an additional blockade impact on siege. It's nice. Oh, that'll be useful. And then expansion autonomy changes. Okay. Foreign spy detection. So combining that, we got 50. That'll give us 50 some percent. So that's good. So yeah, we're going to double up. No big deal. I'd even be able to get a uh, 2x neighbor bonus, which would be great. Or the 20% 20, 20 Let's see here. Hmm. Denmark has announced me as his rival, sadly. What am I gonna do? Liberatia. So they are no longer... Captain James is his name. What is their culture? Yeah, James doesn't sound like a... 
Malagasy name, but uh, okay. So we got our next thing here. Admin possible or Diplo possible? Oh, do I care a whole lot? I suppose Diplo possible. Neither of those are actually particularly useful. It doesn't save you anything in the long term. I'm not going to take Defender of the Faith because that would be suicidal. It would be horrible because we would never actually be able to do anything with it. Not really too worried about forts. I will take some manpower though. Manpower is good for us. On halt popped out. So what's going on with Prussia? Russian conquest. Guess who? Oh, they just peaced out. Cool. Well, that was annoying though. Um, let me see here. We can probably raid again soon, yeah? If not right now. Yeah, let's do some raiding. And then... Um... I guess I could raid like all the way up here and then down here. And we'll just raid everything we can. And so here's how you do this. You unpause and then you just spam click. Look how much money we have now. You like that chat? Speed five rating, baby. It's overpowered. And this, uh, this is allowing us to extract so much wealth. There we go. Continue to speed five raid. There's not 100% effectiveness in every province, but it's fine. It's not actually a big deal. Ooh, those ones were 1%. Ooh, they're hunting pirates over here, aren't they? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Now, we didn't get much money from them, but we did devastate them. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, it only does 1% of the devastation here. Or maybe we did over here. Ah, this is Ragusa, of course. Huh. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's only 0.1. Anyways, keep on raiding. There we go. Very good. So, uh, make our way down to Mali. This is a legendary navy right here. And then... We'll dock up here in uh, Cape Verde for a couple of months to repair or to at least just make sure that we're not going to be taking a ton of um, penalties there. There we go. I think I actually missed one over here. There we go. Let's get down here and then back up over here. And then over here. Here, 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 here. Oh my gosh, lads, we got so much raiding to do. This is almost like overwhelming how much raiding we have to do. All speed five. Look at this. Look how much money we have. Oh, who's that? What that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Mercantilism is definitely right. Allow him to go where his heart wishes. Free stability. Or that's admin points, I suppose. But that's fine, too. Board shipping manifest. Sounds good. The fact that we are uh, raiding a ton means the buccaneers are getting a ton of money from all this. We literally just raided half the world. How much money we just made. That is incredible. Okay, and we actually meant to do this twice. Uh, that was an accident. That's okay. And then uh, we are ahead on tech for the mill. And then we have build a treasury. So that's good. That'll help us out with our inflation. Which um, we're not ahead, so I'm not going to force it. Um, actually, it will help us out. So let's just buy that down. Um, being, We'll catch up on tech eventually here. And then, uh, do we want to build any buildings? That's the next one. Somebody had commented that I should move my trade capital. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I do not make any money from trade. And, uh, 
The raiding, we're privateering a ton here, which would hurt our income quite a bit. I guess I could, but I'm working on a Diplo Idea Group and everything, so I don't know. I'm in no major rush, I'll, I'll say that. Um, so these guys are privateering here. So you can see we're not privateering in Lubeck, which we definitely should be. We should be privateering a bit more in, um, what's it called? So let's, let's get like, get like 30 more ships. We'll send 20 over here and then an, an, an additional 10 down to Sevilla. I think I could actually privateer in Genoa as well, but I think that would hurt my relations with the Pope man. So I wouldn't, I won't do that. I think I could privateer over here, which would be great as well. So we have a lot of options for privateering. It's just a matter of deciding which one is the best one. I'll take the prestige. Covert action relationship impact. I don't think that matters a whole lot. Do some uh, do some development here, or not development. Um, what's this? What are these things called? Manufactories. Yeah, those things. Let's pull our ships around here. Oopsies. I definitely pulled out uh, these guys. So let's have you guys go and privateer uh, the Lu Lubeck. Have you guys privateer the English Channel. And that's going to increase our income quite a bit as well. And then we want these guys to head on down and privateer in Sevilla with the rest of the squad. And then have you guys privateer in the English Channel as well. We want to be the number one trade power in all of our um, in all of our trade. So we need a couple more lights as well. Let's get a couple more. We're spending all of our money on it. It's awesome. Our naval supremacy is going to be second to absolutely nobody. Uh, we also need to get these guys home. So let's uh, stop off in Bermuda and resupply real quick. Door man. go repair up and then head home because we definitely need to upgrade these guys okay let's have you guys group up here have these guys privateer the english channel have these guys privateer lubeck have these guys privateer let's see here where are we making our most at so Sevilla's good Caribbean could use a few more, but uh, honestly, I just think there's just not that much money over there. Sevilla's good. We're going to leave Genoa alone. Uh, English Channel's good. Um, I suppose we send these guys over and have them privateer Constantinople. And then we'll build a couple more and send them over to join as well. Oh, what in the world? Did that just say put all 10 of them on man? That's not what I wanted. Do something like this instead. There we go. We'll send all these guys over to Constantinople as well. Privateer, Constantinople. Nerfing the Ottomans is going to be really good for us. It'd be really funny to uh, have privateers and pirates be the primary trade power in uh, Constantinople as well. And we're just waiting. We got plenty more coming. Manufacturers is here. Doesn't matter to me. We're caught up on Diplotech, so I'm in no rush. We have a uh, colonist now, so let's send them over to Borneo. I believe this is the island of Borneo. Is it? Can I... Is there a way to see? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's Borneo. Let me know. Okay, let's have these guys here. Now, do we want them in Constantinople? How much? Oh, wow. That's really good. How much are we making in Constantinople? Four and a half. Uh, so I think we send half to Constantinople and half to Lubeck. So privateer Lubeck. Privateer Constantinople. And that should... Oh, man. We're very close to actually making 30 ducats a month just from privateering. See why I was saying I don't care about trade a whole lot? We're so close.
We could get a lot more from Sevilla as well. So how much do we have here? We have 26%. We're very close to being number one. We are number one now in Lubeck. Let's take a look here. Trade nodes. Um, where are we at here? Uh, this doesn't look right. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't actually say. Like, we're number one trade here. I think we're, num we're definitely number one here. 26%. Down here, we are 25. So Portugal's got a bit more than us. Over here, we're at 35. And then the Caribbean, we are at 23, which is almost as much as Portugal. So we do need some more in the Caribbean. Damn it. And remember, guys, every one that we do this to is actually taking money out of their pockets in future wars. So it's time to attack Castile. Austria will help. I'll let him siege down the mainland. I actually will see if I can just have him do everything for me. I guess we're going to take out a loan. No big deal. Let me see here. Let's add the Comoros to a trade center. Or a cent uh, whatever, trade company. So this war is literally just for a couple of islands over here. I just want these. Cannot make the Galapagos Accor, which is annoying. Um, once my colonist gets over there, I'll be able to take anything from over here that I want. Go with the Diplo. We are still good with the Buccaneers in charge. Let's uh, invest some points here, see if we can, you know, have our chance to shine here. So it looks like the Mamluks, where are the Mamluks capital at? Because I assume that they're an island nation. Oh my gosh. Oh, the, maid, the mighty have fallen. Diego Garcia Island is actually the, the Mamluks capital. That's hilarious. Um, so how many men does, they have 28,000 men somewhere. So I would be a fool to walk over there. We're going to keep them. We uh, sunk some of his light ships up here. That's great. And then... Have these guys privateer. Uh, where were we heading? Sevilla. Have these guys head over. Privateer. Um, uh, Caribbean. Same thing. Down to Sevilla for you boys. And uh, down to Sevilla for you as well. I would really, 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 really like to become the number one trade power over here. 35. We are now the number one trade power in Sevilla. Take a look at this. English Channel, Lubeck, Sevilla, Caribbean. We've got to be close. We have to be close. There's no way we're not. I love it. It's too funny. It's honestly too funny. Let's build these guys here. Make sure nobody blockades me. I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. And we just got to ride it out. Wait for um, Austria to get over here. So apparently I'm at war with the Pope, which is weird. I think I can just piece him out separately. I will have you annul your treaties with Castile. And then I will have you give me war reps and then some money. And then I will turn right back around and ally you in a moment, Pope Man, because I'm a good Catholic. Oh, let's go. We're the Curia controller and I missed it. How good is that? How good is that? Papal Bull, huh? Dev cost. Let's go with AE Impact. Enables Crusade after the age limit. Nice. Let's do it. Uh, and so, am I at war with anybody? Hmm. I think I'll use it on... Um, Morocco, because I definitely want to attack Morocco eventually. Ottomans are going to be problematic, but we'll do what we can here. Uh-huh. That's pretty good. Having a little bit of, uh, what's it called? Admin efficiency is nice. Saves us mana and stuff. So Scotland is, um, Columbia now. Okay. That's fine. So I think in this war, I will just take the islands and then 
let's see here. Is there anything more useful that I could take? Yeah, I would really like to extend my uh, colonial range, but the fact that I can't see this stuff. This is out of my range. This is not, though. We have our other um, colonists, so let's send them over there. We basically want to colonize all the islands. That's our plan. And so somebody had... I, I forgot that I had mentioned uh, what exactly it is that makes an island an island in this game. So if you can see here, it says, Owns or have a non-tributary subject own all provinces without a land direct land connection to Stockholm, Panama, or Guru something, which I think is in Asia. That's what makes something an island. If it cannot touch that by land, it is an island. So it doesn't matter if we have more than the islands. We can do a world conquest if we want. But that is what we have to have for the achievement. So you can see we're definitely making progress. It's going to take some time, but uh, I'm feeling optimistic. If you guys are enjoying, make sure that you show your support. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe ending the bell. Come check us out over at twitch.tv slash chewy shoot. If you want to support us, we have Patreon. And then if you want to hop in the community discord, it's going to be linked in the description below. That's all I got for you today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And a big special thanks to my top November patrons, Drunk Binary, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, M. Dressel, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Disdain, Jake Hutchell, RJ Pilot, and many more. I appreciate you guys, and we couldn't do it without you.